Getting a furry companion is not as expensive anymore. Prices of pets, such as puppies and kittens, have dropped by more than a third. Pet stores say that's because people have less time and money for pets. Competition among stores also driving prices down. But animal welfare organisations are warning against impulse buying, which could lead to abandoned pets. Chloe Chu with this report. A poodle like this would have sold for more than $8,000 during the pandemic. Now, it'll set you back about $5,000. It's a similar situation with cats. This shop, which specialises in Bengals, says prices fell by around 30%. Demand dipped for various reasons, such as people having different priorities this year. Since um, June onwards, where um, the borders, I mean, country borders start opening up and people started travelling. So they will keep that bulk of money to travel instead of keeping a pet. People are also beginning to travel for work more. So there's no more working from home. They are also very worried about committing time because now they have to fly. She adds that such customers initially considered getting a pet but decided to put it on hold. There's also greater competition among pet stores. Especially during the circuit breaker, pet shops saw high demand for companion animals. Business-minded people jumped on this, and more than 50 licensed pet shops selling puppies and kittens have opened since mid-2020. Some stores that have been around for longer says this has contributed to the prices dipping slightly. But that's not all. Another pet store at Kensington Square says there's been a spike in unlicensed breeders. They're selling cats and dogs for as little as $1,000. That's about a quarter of the price from authorised shops and official breeders. This below market rate created an uneven playing field. They don't have to go through the process of the vaccinations, the blood test, the transportation costs, quarantine costs, which all adds up. And they are posting very rampantly on social medias, uh, Instagram, Facebooks, Facebook groups. And these pups are from unknown sources, which we suspect that they might be from neighbouring countries. It's how to tell between whether a, li that a person is licensed or not licensed. When we post online, we have to show our licence number very clearly. He adds that many online merchants are selling pets that are just a few weeks old. Often these animals have one vaccination, which is below the legal requirement of two. Whether it's cats or dogs, animal welfare organisations say attractive prices could fuel impulse buying. One animal shelter says before buying a pet, potential owners must consider if they have enough time and money to make the long-term commitment.